An Outer River state where the federal government says progress has been made to maximize the full potentials of eastern sea port complexes. The Minister of Marine and Blue Economy, Adigboye Gawietola, gave insight into the ongoing efforts during an inauguration of projects and tour of seaports in River State. Senior correspondent Ucho Koro reports. From the Port Harcourt International Airport, Mr. Adegboega Oyetola headed for the on -air port. The newly completed 4.8 kilometer road is a link to new berths at the Federal Ocean Terminal in Oné. The minister described the project as a proof of government's determination to address all factors responsible for the underutilization of the port. We're doing the modernization of the port. We want to be able to see our port competing with any port in the world. Most of the traffic, particularly cargo that has been taken to neighboring countries is because we're here to do a lot of things in terms of infrastructure. Uh, the ports that we have are hold and they need serious renewal. So that is part of what we're trying to do. That was why I said that um, we're looking at putting not less than about a billion dollar investment to rehabilitate all the ports to make them more efficient. The road covers two container terminals and is expected to cater to almost 1,000 trucks per day. This is meant to translate to an increase in the speed and ease of doing business in on -air port. Increasing efficiency simply means increase in revenue, definitely, reducing cargo dwell time and uh, ship waiting time. Increasing efficiency means automating our system, ensuring that we get that cargo which we have been losing to other neighboring countries. Mr. Oetola inaugurated six mooring boats to further enhance maritime safety and security. Some times ago, I commissioned some boats in Lagos, Apapa particularly, and I told you that we're doing all of that to all the ports you know, in the Federation. The essence of that is to continue to increase the efficiency of our ports. And I must commend the, the concessionaire and the MPA for ensuring that this particular port is ISO certified. That's very important. We look forward to all the other ports achieving the same uh, status. From Oné, the minister led his delegation to inspect facilities at the MPA complex in Port Harcourt. He said government would continue to invest in port infrastructure and other initiatives to sustain improvement in the performance of the nation's sea ports. Uchi Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.